Lithium metal batteries differ from other batteries today, and batteries required for the energy transition in a myriad of ways. Today we have one predominant battery technology, and that is lithium ion. In lithium ion, a graphite anode has exactly 372 milliamp hours a gram of capacity. Lithium metal has 3,860. So that's 10 times what is in a graphite anode, and on a cell level, on a systems level, you could fortify that lithium ion, and that's what we need to do. It's also a much more simple design. This beautiful invention that won a Nobel Prize was meant to power a handheld electronic device, and we have pushed it to its absolute maximum limitation. So lithium metal batteries, for example, can be made in a much larger format. You could power an electric vehicle with 100 single cells rather than thousands and thousands, which are used in, in today's lithium ion battery cars. Lithium metal also is a completely different paradigm shift from what we have today. So in our lithium ion battery, the lithium content is in the positive electrode or the cathodes. Lithium metal, you don't want that. You only want the lithium content on one side of the cell, so it's a balanced system. So to utilize the incredible capacity of lithium metal, you need to have a positive electrode material that does not contain lithium. So for all of these reasons, lithium metal is very different from what we have today, but if we're able to do it as a community, that means a resource community, all the lithium producers, the battery community, if we can get on the same page, we really can leapfrog lithium ion and we could leapfrog Chinese battery infrastructure but it has to be with a completely different technology. Lithium metal is not synonymous at all with solid state. And when I think about advantages um, of solid state batteries, it's, it's difficult because they're so far from commercialization and they're filled with challenges. There are theoretical advantages, except that no one has actually brought even to a prototype level something that truly is an all solid state battery. So I have yet to see a solid state battery that has come online that is truly solid. And what that means, Guys, we all know what a solid and a liquid and a gas is. No liquid in that battery, a true solid state battery. So the big takeaway is lithium metal and solid state are not at all synonymous. The greatest commercial challenges with solid state are manufacturability. So when you have a solid ceramic separator, um, it is incredibly difficult to scale and you can't scale it in a large format. So one of the benefits, as I said earlier about lithium metal, is you can eliminate thousands of cells from a pack and you can have a large form battery. Solid state with the ceramic, you can't scale it in a very, very wide space. So you're limited by that design. In next-gen batteries, I'm honestly most excited to see lithium metal come to life because lithium metal has a very long history. The community has really evolved and it's really gonna happen. So I'm so excited to see what was really meant to be powering the future actually start to come to fruition and empower it. 